Hello everyone and welcome back. If you want to learn about all the new features which are getting introduced in Java 21, then this video is for you. Today we will cover all the features very briefly and later dedicated videos on each feature will arrive. So after Java 17, this Java 21 is going to be LTS that is long term support version from Oracle. That means Oracle will provide free upgrades for this at least for five years that is until September 2028 and an extended paid support will be there till 2031. Now, before we discuss all the features, I just wanted to start with the one which is a preview feature, which is currently the talk of the town as everyone is talking about it. So, you know, the public static void main method with string array as parameters for a new person who wants to start learning Java. This was the bare minimum they need to know or they need to write even if they just want to print something. And for someone who just started learning, it has so many things which that person may not be able to understand at that time, but they just have to use it. In this, we have class and the complex signature of main method, which is very complicated for any new learner. Wouldn't it be nice if most of this could be eliminated like this? Do not worry as with Java 21, if you want to start learning and want to write your first Java program, then that you can do without writing any class or without any complex main method. Since the feature is still in preview stage, you need to compile and run the code using few options, which are hyphen hyphen enable preview and then compile it and run the program. We will see that in detail once we do the dedicated video for this particular feature. Okay, now let's uh, start with the first feature, which is virtual threads. It was first introduced in Java 19 as a preview feature. Developers were working on this particular concept for very long under the name of Project Loom. In Java 21, virtual threads are finalized and ready for production use. Writing scalable applications with sequential code is made possible by allowing many virtual threads to share a single operating system or platform threads. When a virtual thread has to wait or is blocked, then platform thread will execute another virtual thread that allows us to run thousands and thousands of virtual threads with just very few operating system threads. The best part is that we don't have to change the existing Java code also. Suppose you have already written some code for the multi-threading, so you don't have to write how your thread works. We just simply tell our application framework to use virtual threads instead of platform threads. The next feature is sequenced collection interfaces to enable uniform methods for accessing and manipulating first and last elements of the list. In Java 21, sequenced collection interface will be introduced. It will be applicable to lists, sorted sets and linked hash set. It has many methods such as get first, get last, add first, add last and remove first and remove last as well. This will only work on mutable collections and for immutable collections, it will throw an unsupported operation exception. Similar to sequenced collection, we have sequenced set, sequenced map as well. Next feature is regarding record patterns. They were also introduced in Java 19 as preview feature. They can be used collectively with instance of operator to directly access the fields of a record without explicitly typecasting. The records were introduced in Java 16 and I will cover them in a separate session if required. Please do let me know in the comment section. Before Java 21, if we want to access the fields of a record, then we first need to explicitly typecast it and then we can access the fields. But from Java 21 itself, we don't need to do that typecasting. Now let's try to understand it with an example. Let's assume we have an arbitrary object and want to perform a particular action on it depending on its class. For instance, printing something on the console. We could do that using pattern matching for instance of which was introduced in Java 16. In this, if the object is of type location, then we are accessing the value of X and Y using L. If it's, a, it's of type string, then we are printing accordingly. And if none of these, then we are printing unknown. Now, instead of using location L and then access the value using L in Java 21, we can directly use location int x int y and in the block statement directly we can access x and y. So as you can see in this particular example, now we are not using location L for checking instance of, but we are using location int x int y so that in x and y both are directly accessible inside the block. 
similar can be achieved for pattern matching under switch statements we can not only match to a record whose fields are objects or primitives we can also match on a record whose fields are also records that comes under nested record patterns now let's discuss the preview features added in java 21 preview features are the ones which are not yet ready for production usage with few more releases once they are stabilized then they will be ready for production uses just like in java 19 virtual threads were added as preview features and now in java 21 they are ready for production usage okay so the first feature is string template so we have several ways to compose string at runtime using variables and calculated values like using plus operator or using string dot format suppose we have int a and int b and we want to calculate the multiplication and print like a times b is its result so that a should have the value of a and b should have the value of b and in the result we should have the value of multiplication of both these numbers simply we can do that using the plus operator and multiplying both the numbers but in java 21 we can use the placeholders like string output or result is equal to str dot and then we have a placeholder for first number a times placeholder for second number and equal to and after that a placeholder for evaluating that particular expression which is a into b the placeholders may not only contain variables and arithmetic operations but they may also contain any java expression or even calls to the static methods as well str here is the name of template processor it defines how template text and placeholders are combined next is unnamed patterns and variables many times we have to define a variable that we don't need later for example in this particular code snippet we have a variable e which is in the exception catch block but if you see we are not at all using it but still we have to name it as of in java 21 we no longer have to name such variables but we can use underscore instead that was being used in other languages for a very long time now so in the second code snippet you can see we can replace the e with underscore only because we are not at all using that particular variable so we don't have to name it as well similar can be applied in case of record pattern matching and wherever the variable which we do not use can be replaced with an underscore next is unnamed classes and instance main methods we have already discussed in the beginning regarding this feature so let's continue from where we have left now we know we can have simple main function signature and that too without any class that is also known as unnamed classes we can have multiple main methods so how the execution is decided in such scenario that is which main method will be called in case we have multiple main methods present in such cases launch protocol will decide which main method will start launch protocol will search in this particular order in the priorities first it will look for static void main and string arg signature which is the old signature as well and if it does not found that then it will look for static void main after that it will look for void main and the parameter and if it is not able to find any of these in the end it will look for the simplest one which is void main next is structured concurrency it was first introduced in java 19 in the incubator stage suppose a task consists of subtasks that can be done in parallel we can implement it using executor service we pass the required subtasks to the executor and wait for the partial results everything will work fine for the happy scenarios but what will happen when an error occurs in one subtask how we can cancel the other tasks how we can cancel the subtasks when application is shutting down how we can cancel other tasks once one task completes the execution and only single task completion is required so all these situations can be implemented but requires extremely complex and hard to maintain code all these discussed scenarios can be very easily implemented in java 21 we will discuss this in more detail with examples in its own video now suppose you want to access code outside the jvm it can be a c library or accessing the memory management outside the jvm itself then you have to use java native interface or jni anyone who has worked on this knows how complex error prone and slow jni is foreign function and memory api has been introduced as a replacement for jni in java 21 very few programmers will come into direct contact with it or they will work on it 
therefore i will not go into further detail at this point if you need some more detail on this session please do let me know in the comment section now let's see few more things which got changed as part of java 21 first one is generational z garbage collector the z garbage collector was first introduced in java 15 the pause time for this garbage collector was 10 times lesser than g1 garbage collector until now z garbage collector made no distinction between old and new object however this difference can have a significant impact on the performance of your application because most of the objects die shortly after their creation whereas the objects that have survived a few garbage collection cycles they tend to stay alive even longer a generational garbage collector takes advantage of this by dividing the heap into two logical areas young generation in which new objects are created and old generation into which the old objects are moved since the objects in old generation are likely to become even older an application performance can be improved by having the garbage collector scan old generation less frequently in java 21 the z garbage collector has been made generational to take this advantage for the transition period both variants of z garbage collector will be available and can be activated using the vm arguments in the future the generational variant will become the default one and if you want to use a non-generational garbage collector you must explicitly switch to the non-generational variant using vm arguments the 32-bit version of window 10 is now hardly even used anymore and windows 11 was never offered with the 32-bit version accordingly there is hardly any need for a 32-bit windows version of java development kit to speed up the development of jdk virtual threads were not implemented for 32-bit windows anyone who tries to start a virtual thread on 32-bit windows will get a platform thread instead next is disallow the dynamic loading of agents so many times we use uh, our different agents which are developed in java or in some other language so how we inject them into our application we do that using parameters like agent path and provide the path of that particular agent so what it will do it will load that particular agent into your application and which modifies it at the runtime to perform some necessary measurements it can either write the results to some storage or even it can send to the monitoring controllers most of the time it is to monitor the application or use as a profiler if the application was started without this parameter which was agent path still we were able to inject those agents at the runtime using attach api this so-called dynamic loading is activated by default in all the versions prior to java 21 and thus represents a considerable security risk from java 21 the dynamic loading will be disabled by default and can only be explicitly enabled via vm argument where we need to mention that we have to enable the dynamic agent loading so these were the main features which will be available with java 21 in case you have any queries or feedback please do comment and also don't forget to like share and subscribe we will be back with dedicated videos on main features from java 21 also please let me know if you want me to cover some other version topics as well till then thank you so much for watching keep learning